The time for Horror Month has come, and it is finally time for some exciting horror games on this channel. Who am I kidding? On this channel, every month is Horror Month. We have Horror Year. Every year. Oh well. I might as well welcome you to my new Let's Play of... On Totis. A new psychological horror game that just released today. In Antotis, we step into the shoes of Robert, a man dealing with the loss of his wife. He has taken on the remote job of a caretaker for abandoned homes for the winter fall season. As a severe storm approaches, Robert is tasked with securing one final property on the hill. As he completes his chores, strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena come to light along with a mysterious figure that seems linked to the events at hand. Robert begins to realize that a sinister presence may be at play. And uh, we are also at play real soon, but not before we uh, jump right in. The drive to my guard post was long and bleak, just like the months that followed her absence. It's hard to be here, but maybe that's what I need, to escape the grip of those memories. A chance to confront the pain head on, to find a way to move forward without her. I cannot help but notice how the approaching storm seems to mirror the turmoil inside me, as if the weather echoes my emotions. Maybe one day the storm in my heart will pass and the sun will shine again, but for now I have to keep moving forward, one lonely step at a time. And we're in. Unfortunately. This is a special weather alert for all residents of the community. A severe storm is approaching and expected to hit the area in the next few hours. We urge everyone to take immediate action to protect themselves and their property. This means staying inside, closing windows and doors, and securing any outdoor items. Remember, high winds can be extremely dangerous, so please do not take any unnecessary risks. This storm is not to be taken lightly, so please take it seriously. Stay tuned to this frequency for updates and stay safe. So did you notice this guy has like a dish with uh, spaghetti meatballs and he got a sausage and he got like a bone, which is probably from a chicken. So he mixes like three types of meat with his spaghetti and tomato sauce. And then he has a whole loaf of bread. This would be, this would be a sin punishable by death in Italy. Cigarettes. I would probably quit it, but it helps me to clear my mind after she passed away. It doesn't help him to clear his lungs, though. Quite the opposite, I would say. Oh, this is the favorite TV show from my childhood. No signal. <laughs> All right, we need a flashlight and a house key. And we're like in a little outhouse here. Oh, this is the, what is this, the flashlight? No, this is, what? Wait, this is a flashlight radio. I didn't even know that exists. Battery. If we need to do a little bit of assault and the battery later. We already have the battery, we just need the assault now. Can we look at the food? No, we can only turn on the light. A strange creature climbing the collapsed bridge, 1967. I can't see the creature. Am I blind? It's climbing up. If you can see the creature, comment in the comments. Tell me where it is. Because I, I, I can see what could be a creature, but it's just what an odd picture. I can't help but wonder who left it here. Perhaps the previous caretaker was responsible. Don't look into its eyes. Okay, now I regret starting this game. 
It's regretty spaghetti time already and nothing has even happened. Oh, there's the key. We don't, we're not bringing the cross with us? What if it's a vampire? The graphics look pretty good, I have to say. I mean, except for the intro scene, but not everyone can afford to animate, like, the whole scene. Maybe it doesn't have the talent. This is an indie game, after all. You know what? I'm going to keep the light on. If I get lost in the woods, then I hopefully see a light shining from far away, which would be this house. Let's see how the first day on the job treats me. I hope the storm won't be as bad as they say in the radio. The light doesn't do anything. Or maybe I'm clicking the radio stuff. So... Yeah, that's really where I... But this is the perfect weather to be outside. You stand next to a tree and then you get electrocuted along with the tree. So let's go up, right? I think he came from... Where's the bike here? No clue. I'm gonna assume it's up a mountain. We do have a sprint bar. Why can't he just drive his bike up? Wait, can I get the bike up? Okay, I gotta figure out the light. Uh, oh, here. Use battery, one, two, three, four, aim, action. There's no light button. Maybe I need to put the battery in first. Oh, there we are. There we are. I've never been up here. This place sure gives an eerie vibe, yet it looks kind of familiar. Does it? Hello, Robert. Regarding the Huxley house, I have left the warehouse key under the mat in case you need access. I hope everything is in order. Jonathan. And how do I use the battery? R. Oh, there we go. He left it under the mattress. We don't have any, uh... No, we can't make it bright. We can't make it brighter. Everything is on Epic. That's what we want. We can't change the brightness. A welcoming doormat. I wonder what le lies beyond... Uh... Oh, there we go. Warehouse key. We're going to be, uh, we're not going to try to waste the battery too much here. This house got a few broken windows. I don't think we can climb in. 
and it's pitch black outside. Oh! God damn it. Okay, it's just a statue. A low resolution <laughs> statue. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. We got another battery. I woke up this morning to find all of the doors and windows in our house were that all of the doors and windows in our house were wide open. I don't know how to go, how they got that way, but I know that this entity had something to do with it. I'm starting to fear for my family's safety. The entity. Wait, that's the light. Now it's now I use the battery. Wow. Broken axe top. The top half of a broken axe. It's still sharp enough to cause damage, but its handle is missing. Making it difficult to wield effectively. Well, we can wield it ineffectively. <laughs> the warehouse key, the Huxley's house key. Let's go to the warehouse, which should be over here. Oh no, I turned the, the light off. I just wasted the battery. I think I accidentally turned the life, uh, light off. It didn't uh, run out of batteries. Hey, do you want to... No. I do not want to play. I'm already playing. A wooden plank which can be used to barricade windows or doors. No power. I need to fix the fuse box. You need to find two fuses to restore the power. Oh, we got another battery. Thank the Lord. Feels really good that I already wasted one for no reason. That feels great. We're at the beginning of the game and I flushed the battery down the toilet and I don't know if it's going to be a game where... You're actually gonna run out of batteries, or where you have enough if you're careful. All right, let's go into the house. Hello. 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 Is there anyone, Is there anyone here? here? Hello. Hello? Hello? I think we're safe. <laughs> yeah. We're super safe, and the light just went out again. We can use the light for... Yeah, this is a game where we run out of batteries a lot. Boy, oh boy. And also, girl, oh girl. This is gonna be a nightmare to search this house in the dark. We need to find those two fuses, like, really fast. Interact. Wash up. Artemis. Clinics. Okay. Uh... Okay, great. We wasted our time in here. Them light. Yet they're teasing me with all those light switches.
battery no we got a recording of an unknown cassette it can be used inside of a cassette player cassette two out of three Wait, there's, this says something. I I wish I could travel the world. God damn it. I would already be on my bike and leaving at this point. I'm mean, already on my bike and leaving. Can we take those damn candles? No. Oh, we're gonna be in the dark soon. We gotta be... You don't wanna waste too much time searching for stuff, but also... You really don't wanna miss... A battery. Oh, this guy has... You know, I don't think you... You're not supposed to put bananas in the fridge. They become black really fast. Look, it's the same plate that we had. The same dish, and we got the sausages down there. At least they're using their props. Oh, we can open these as well. There's them light switches. Isn't that a candle? And isn't our guy a smoker? Shouldn't I have like a lighter on me? I mean, it's the only advantage I see in being a smoker. You have a lighter with you in case you need to make a fire or something. The Mothman Chronicles, a collection of eyewitness accounts and interviews with people who have encountered the mysterious entity. VHS tape, The Mothman's Lair, a documentary exploring the origins and folklore surrounding the legendary creature. Into the Unknown, a travelogue about a team of adventurers who venture into the forest to find evidence of the harbinger of doom. Boy, oh boy, I hope we find the Harbinger of Doom. I hope he finds us. I'm gonna leave the TV on since it gives some light. I woke up to find something standing at the foot of my bed, hovering. I didn't. It didn't move or say anything, but I could feel it watching me. I couldn't move or scream. I was paralyzed with fear. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Terrified. And the lights are out. The lights are out and I can't recharge them. Welcome to the darkness, guys. We haven't found a single battery. Don't I have a battery left? No. A plank. So we have a plank. We can barricade... Uh, A window or a door. Please, I need a battery. I need a battery. Do 
And we're back to the living room. Where is that in the back? Oh, it's a statue. So we got toast, we got a... Oh! Oh, we got a page. Damn, I thought it was a battery. I keep seeing this entity in my dreams. It's like trying it's trying to tell me something, but I can't figure out what it means. I feel like I'm going crazy. My family thinks I'm being paranoid, but I know something is wrong. I'm starting to think that I'm going to die. What? That one's locked. Okay, come on. Can't you put a battery somewhere? Batteries run out in like 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. This is the kitchen. I already searched the kitchen, right? I can't believe I didn't find a single fuse. They're an upstairs. Oh no, we got a barricaded door. And we need to fix the axe for it. I see. We got a fuse. I got me a fuse. You know what? I'm just going to leave all the drawers open so I know what I've searched because I think I searched this in here before. It's the entrance of the house. There's an stairs that goes up. And we can interact with the clock. It looks like it's missing an hour hand. Another battery, yeah. Okay, let's check this. It won't open from this side. No. Maybe we're supposed to go upstairs. I should restore the power first before going upstairs. Maybe we're not supposed to go upstairs. Okay, we can't go here. We can't go through that door. We can't go through any of these two doors. The battery, I mean the, the fuse, in that case, should be in this wing of the house. Why can't I open these drawers? Some of them you can open and others you can't. So it's very inconsistent. It's too inconsistent for my taste. I'm going to have to format my hard disk to get this out of my system. Through here. Been through here, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been here. Oh, come on, I need to restore the power. I want to stop wasting batteries. Maybe he put it in a cookie jar. It's 
disgusting. The last drawer is closed, which is very suspicious. But it doesn't tell me that I need a key. It's the drawer opening simulator. The cabinet simulator. The kitchenette simulator. Let's go outside for a second. And is that a graveyard in the back? Could open that door. God damn it, I always think there's somebody standing there. Gosh darn it. Maybe if we put one fuse in, we get some power? That could be, who knows. Let's try putting one in, and then maybe we get power in part of the house. Salt and the flattery. It doesn't seem to work. You know, if you see like a fuse box that is sparking like this, you want to get the fuse with your hands and then put it in while it's sparking. It's what you really want to do. That is the smart thing to do. You would be an imbecile to not to. A buffoon. And we're out. We have one more battery though. Where's this last fuse? Where is this fuse? It's gotta be somewhere where we already searched. All right, let's leave all those uh, cabinets open. If this was Resident Evil, then you would have to need to play a specific melody on the piano. Oh, there's the fuse. And then the door would open. <laughs> got an, okay, we got the battery and the fuse now. Uh, it's not real, it's only in your head. Was this here before? Wait, how come this is a dead end? No. I can't take it anymore. Can I leave? It's real. This thing is real. I don't know what makes it change.
Maybe the light switch. Do I need to shine the light on it? I don't get it. It looks like it's a little bit stuck. And we can't get out of the window either. Find access to the basement, that's the, the objective. It's real, this thing is real. Yeah, okay, we need real establish that it's real and unreal and I can't leave this place. Oh can I oh. Okay that that helped. And now we can interact with candles? I thought we couldn't. Maybe I need to be pixel perfect. So I like how it's changing the layout of the house. God damn it, cut the chain. I can't cut the chain. I just want to go back and put the fuses in. Come on. bathroom. Extinguish the candle here, too. What the fuck is happening? Am I hallucinating? Where did this woman's body came from? Which woman? Oh. In blood-filled waters, another tragic end. Can I leave now? Oh, there we go. I went back to where I was. I hate this darkness. Oh, there's the exit. See what else needs fixing. I'm hearing strange noises coming from the walls. I don't think we're safe here anymore. I'm thinking of moving my family to a different town, but I'm scared that this thing will follow us wherever we go. I'm completely lost. I'll start praying. Maybe God will help us. <laughs> and I'm sure he will. All right, let's turn this the light on in this. And this is a baby grill. Give me just one second, and I have to mute my phone. We don't want to be interrupted in our horror adventure by... by trivialities. At least now we can search this place properly without stumbling around in the dark, huh? We 
can save the remaining half battery that we have left. Which is going to bring us very far when it, when it gets dark. It's going to be very useful for like one minute. <laughs> that is a lot of mold. I can't see anything. Why are these battles invisible? It's supposed to be glass, I guess. It's like super transparent glass. Okay. My son woke up screaming in the middle of the night. He said he saw a giant moth with glowing eyes in his room. He had bruises on his arms and legs. I don't remember him getting hurt or injured these past days. So this game is supposed to have different endings, multiple endings. I don't know if we're going to play through them all or through more than one. I guess we'll just we'll decide when when it's over. If we're happy, we're happy. We want to see more, we want to see more. Why isn't there a light switch in here? Oh, oh there we go. Was that supposed to be, or is that a bug? It's the last drawer that didn't open. Everything looks searched. I did a good job. I did me a solid. Is this room here? Living room? Okay. I don't think we need the TV anymore. It doesn't seem to work. How did the TV turn on by itself, I wonder? It must be the spirits of the netherworld. The Mothman. The Mothman Comet. Half men, half moth. You can defeat him easily, but just put up a light and only just walk against it. And then you just go take a giant fly swatter and push. Got him. I got to meet the Mothman. This is weird. I. There's not another note here, right? No. Oh, there's blood here. I think I saw it outside my window again last night. It was staring at me with those glowing red eyes and I felt like I was trying it was trying to lure me outside. I think it's trying to communicate with me. I'm scared to leave the house. It's luring you outside. Well, I, I see a really weird creature with glowing eyes outside. I need to investigate, guys. I need to go outside and see what happens. Okay, she's still here, huh? Splish, splash, she was taking a bath. Ba -ba -ba -bum. No? Okay. She, she exaggerated it a little bit with the bath taking. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to exaggerate it. Interact. This is just the door, isn't it? We can interact, but nothing happens. Is that a syringe? It's a syringe. 
uh, young uh, and unused syringe. It contains rain. It seems to symbolize the absence of salvation in this desolate realm. So, we are looking for a way to the basement, aren't we? This door here has a chain. We can't, we can't break it with... Just part of the axe. This would be the way to the basement, I assume. I guess this is what the axe is for. We're gonna need, probably gonna need a bolt cut, a bolt cutter for the chain. Oh, we can go upstairs now, right? Because he said I need to restore the power before I can go upstairs. Look at the mold in this house. You, you, you want to... Here, you want to actually wear a, a, a good... Uh, a good mask. You don't want to breathe in this mold. This will make you sick. A backpack. Plus four slots. <laughs> Are we playing survival horror game? I don't get it. I mean, I like it, but it seems, uh, yeah. I don't think we can fight in this game. This game is only like, I think, six bucks or something. So far, positive surprise. Um, yeah, we got another chain here with a padlock requires another item. I don't know if that item is like a, we are writing down a code or if it's a, maybe a key. I guess it's a key. Medieval sword. An old sword probably belongs to the medieval. I don't think that's how you write it. It's not the medieval. It's the medieval. Medieval. That's how you write it. I remember that I wanted to be a knight when I was a kid. Medieval sword. Medieval. There's a game that's called Medieval, though. Maybe it's a play on that. It's an old, I think, a PlayStation 1 game. Another of those black feathers. I wonder which creature this belongs to. There is something off about it. Oh! It's the Mothman. The Mothman Comet. But I don't think that's the Mothman. They don't have like feathers like this. Moths. The cabinet. Interesting romances. Oh, this is my favorite read. We got a key as well to one of the hallway doors. Yeah, I love reading uh, romantic stories. You know, love triangles and stuff like that. That is my, that's, that's my thing. It's my pet beef. So we're closing the windows, and we have a. We still have a. Uh, what the hell was this noise? We still have a bar, which we, which we can barricade something, a door or a window. And let's not forget. Let's not forget that. I hate those noises, okay? This isn't a ghost hunting game. Stop it. Dragons that lived long years ago when no one knew about have now awakened. Now our heroes must destroy these dragons and save the day. Come on now. Join the adventures and be with our heroes. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
It's always the same paintings in these horror games. Although this one has a few new ones. Oh, we got another plank. The hell was this? What in the world is going on? We need an axe here as well. We need to fix the axe. Uh, we got a key. It's got to be for this here. No? The key unlocks one of the hallway doors. There's literally... Maybe we need to go through here first. Is this also the hallway behind this? There's not many doors other than that one. Oh, we can turn this on. There we go. Wait, what does this say? I've been waiting for you. Well, great for you. Great for you. Oh no, one of these doors. Children's room. Two monkeys and one banana. The fight to the death. Another sleepless night. I woke up to scratching sounds outside my window. I couldn't see anything, but I felt like I was being watched. My daughter says she saw a giant moth outside her window. I thought it was just her imagination, but now I'm not so sure anymore. A wooden toy shaped into a moose. At least it's not the moose man. Now that will be scary. The moose lord. Okay, jump scare? No. Another plank. Wait, we have legs in this game. That is a rarity. That is a rarity indeed. We do actually have legs, and when we crouch down, then the legs crouch with us. We got two more doors. Let's see if either of them open without the key. I just opened it. I just unlocked it, right? Yeah, the key disappeared. This is where we're supposed to go. Oh, this is the other side of the planks. Was this pic did this painting uh, did, did it already have red eyes? This needs a combination. A numeric combination. Let me in. I am your friend. 
No. Broken axe bottom. Okay, we got the axe. Pirate sword. It once belonged to a legendary pirate. Yeah, you know, we're finding swords in this game, but hey, let's just leave him. We don't want to have a means to defend ourselves, right? But that would be just stupid. Dragon Slayer. Oh, this is the book that we saw in the shelf. Are those tarot cards? No. So the thing was outside. It wasn't in a in a draw uh, in a in a closet or anything. I woke up in the middle of the night to a loud banging on our front door. When I opened it, there was no one there, but I heard something scurrying away. I'm starting to think that someone or something is trying to break into our house. So the front door, we have three three planks, right? Three is a, is a good number. That, that could be the, the amount of planks that we need to maybe stop the monster from getting us at one point or another. Where did this come from? It wasn't here before. Open the door, Robert. I do not wish to open the door. <laughs> I'll have you know. I'll have you know. I'm armed. I'm armed and dangerous. Stay away. Okay, I'm pretty sure that showed him. We're armed and dangerous. Ah, uh, no, I know where we have to go. Downstairs. Yay, we're going to the basement. Good things await us in horror game basements. <laughs> <laughs> 